What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have another body armor video for you guys. And this is a special one because today we're testing elephant guns. So this is a Premier Body Armor Level 4 Stratus plate. Probably the most impressive body armor that I've ever personally tested. By the way, shout out to Premier Body Armor. If you want to get some of this for yourself, check for a link in the description box below. They have a ton of really cool stuff. So. Full disclaimer, I do not believe this body armor is rated to stop elephant guns. And even if it did, there is so much energy there, I don't know if you would survive it. But these plates just eat rifle fire, no problem at all. So I really wanna see what they can actually take. Just remember, if we get through rather quickly, it's not rated for elephant guns, and these are definitely not your standard rifle calibers. All right, so this is our setup for the level four Stratus plate. We have our body armor sitting on the table, and then right behind it, we have a 50 pound block of clay. This is the best way I could think of to test this stuff because it puts something really dense behind the body armor and the clay will actually show damage. So that will be our unfortunate testing subject and hopefully tell us whether you would live or die if you were to get shot with an elephant gun while wearing this body armor. All right, so we're gonna start with the Henry Lever Action 4570. Now this is technically a T-Rex rifle made for dinosaur hunting, not an elephant gun, but with these bullets, it puts it right on the borderline and I would say it could absolutely be used for big game. So this is the 460 grain plus P hard cast grizzly. It's the most powerful 4570 I've ever seen. So we'll try this first, then we'll go to the real elephant guns. Because this is a screaming fast hard cast bullet, I actually think this might have a better chance of getting through than some of the bigger ones. So well, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> Jammed up my gun. That's a first. Wow. Well, that's the first time I've ever had the Henry jam up on me like that. I'm sure you could see when I went to eject it, nothing happened. I assume it's the shell casing. I guess we'll see if we can get it out later, but that was incredible, about what I expected. So it did not go through, first of all. Uh, the body armor did stop it. You can see the back of it right there. Nothing came through. And then right there is where the bullet hit and just did some damage. I mean, there was shrapnel, bullet shrapnel, body armor shrapnel, just flying all over the place. And then if you look at our clay, it's dented in probably five or six inches where that bullet hit. And you can see all the shrapnel in there as well. So it did stop the bullet, which is what's most important, obviously. And that 4570 was one I was really concerned about because it's such a hard bullet and it's going so fast, but the body armor did stop it. But before we go any further, guys, I wanna thank my friends at XS Sites for sponsoring today's video. XS is a site company that I have used for a very long time, and they're known for making the fastest defensive sites on the market for all platforms. Most of you have probably heard of the XS Big Dots, definitely one of their best sellers, and quite possibly the fastest iron sights I've ever used. And in self-defense situations, speed is everything. And most recently, I've been trying their offset rifle sights, which allow you to go from long range to close range in a split second. So with magnified optics, you obviously can't use flip ups because the scope's in the way. But with offsets, you can just slightly turn the rifle and it allows you to bypass that magnification, which can be extremely useful on a self-defense rifle. When it comes to gear that might be used on life-saving equipment, I take sponsorships very seriously. And XS is a company that I have no problem recommending because I know it can be trusted and will work very well. So be sure to check out the link down in the description box below and visit their website and again, a big thank you to XS Sites for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate the support. All right, now we're stepping up to a real big game rifle. So this is the 375 H&H Magnum, and it is on the lower end of elephant rifles, but still very powerful. So for this one, we are shooting the 300 grain Dangerous Game Expander, and you can see the size difference in that cartridge compared to the 4570. So let's see what it does. I haven't shot this one in a while. It's always painful on the shoulder. <laughs> Just smoked it. Wow.
What I can't believe is that body armor didn't fly away. It just stayed there and took that round like a stud. Let's take a look at the hull. So I can clearly see, I hope you guys can as well, <laughs> right where that bullet hit and how deep that hole is in the body armor. I actually see a good majority of the bullet fragments right there. So you can see that's obviously a big chunk of it and some more of it right there. So it looks like it did stop it and it did. That is incredible. Look at the deformation on the back of that body armor and then again the giant hole that it put in our clay. I would say the 4570 actually did more damage to the clay, um, but I did put that one more towards the top, so it had a little bit more room to give, uh, whereas the 375 was dead center, and man, how impressive is that? And here's another look at the back of the body armor. It's kind of hard to tell on camera how far it's sticking out. I would say probably an inch and a half, maybe two, and then you can also see in the clay how far that went in. So that would suck. Um, it's kind of hard to say based off a clay block if you would live or die, but it wouldn't be good, that's for sure, and there would definitely be some internal damage. But most importantly, it did stop the bullet, and you might actually survive that. Without body armor, there's no chance. All right, guys, here we go. This is the biggest, most powerful, hardest recoiling rifle that I've ever owned, the 500 Nitro Express. And no, that's not a cigar, that is the cartridge. So keep in mind, what condition that body armor's in before we're even shooting this. I'll be shocked if it stops a 500 Nitro in that condition. Did I mention that I hate shooting this thing? All right, here we go. God! <laughs> that body armor almost got blown all the way through the clay. I've never seen that before. <laughs> All right, well, you can see some of the outer shell that flew off the table, and it looks like it basically just blew the inside through the outer shell, and that is what went into our clay. And look <laughs> at the damage that it caused. I would say that is probably eight or nine inches into that block of clay. That's how far that bullet carried that body armor. So let's go ahead and take it out. It stopped it. Wow. <laughs> it did not go through. That bullet is in that body armor and there is no exit hole on the back of this thing. And you can see the clay does not actually have a bullet hole either. It's just got a 10 inch cavity that would probably crush every bone in your body. Um, but it did stop the bullet. And remember, it was already heavily compromised before we even shot that bullet. So there it is. That 500 Nitro Express is somewhere in that Kevlar, which is mind blowing. So with the other ones, I couldn't definitively say, but I think it's safe to assume with the 500 Nitro Express, you probably wouldn't survive that. <laughs> Wow. And we kind of get a cool inside look at what's in these body armor plates. There's like a porcelain or ceramic tile in the front and then that extremely tough Kevlar behind it. This stuff is literally bulletproof. Well, now all we're left with is the inside layer, but we have not gotten through it yet. So as much as I don't want to, I might hit it with one more 500 Nitro Express and see if we can get through this thing with no outer shell. RIP my shoulder. All right, same bullet, 500 grain, dangerous game, solid. And this time I cut the clay in half and put a cinder block behind it to give us a harder backstop and hopefully a better chance of finally getting through this stuff because it's not easy. I also turned the slow-mo camera down a little bit so the resolution won't be as good, but it should be even better slow motion, so. Here we go. Wish me luck. God. That is entirely too much power. Oh my gosh. So 
So the reason I put the cinder block there was to give it a better chance of getting through. Now a cinder block might be too hard and not very realistic, but there are bones in your chest and stuff like that. So I don't know, either way, that was extremely impressive. I'm pretty sure we had cinder blocks fly 50 yards into the woods. So here is our body armor, and I think we're looking at the back, and there appears to be an exit hole <laughs> right there on the back. So. I'll go ahead and throw it up here. It looks like the 500 Nitro hit right in the middle. That's all luck because I close my eyes and hope for the best when I shoot that rifle. But it did hit dead center and then it looks like it came out the other side. Obviously our clay is just completely destroyed. Um, looks like that might be <laughs> the wound cavity there. I'm not really sure, honestly, uh, where it came through the clay, but either way, very impressive. I'm looking at the sand hill and I see a bunch of clay and concrete, but I don't see a spot where that giant bullet would have hit. So I assume the cinder block probably broke that bullet apart and we just had fragments come out the other side. But once again, with concrete behind it, we did finally have something come through and it was the 500 Nitro Express. So there's your answer. Three to four elephant gun bullets, we'll say, is how many it takes to get through a premier level four stratus plate, which is way more than I was expecting. I would not have been surprised if the very first one went through, honestly, especially once we stepped up to the real big game rifles. And let's be honest, if you're taking multiple elephant gun rounds in the same body armor plate, you have much bigger problems and body armor is not gonna save you. All right, guys, there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed the video on elephant guns versus body armor. This is something that I've wanted to try for a while. As you all know, I like Premier body armor and I have a love-hate relationship with these big bore elephant guns. They're awesome and they do a lot of destruction but man, they suck to shoot. Very painful. Premier Body Armor is a company that I absolutely trust and this video perfectly displays the quality of their body armor. It's stopping calibers that it is in no way intended to stop. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Premier. It's just a company that I really like. You might've noticed we are playing with a new slow-mo camera right now. I just got it yesterday, so I'm still getting the hang of it, but we will do a full video on that soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed the new slow motion as well. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below as always hit that like button for me guys i'd really appreciate it thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time all right well i'm done filming i've been out here picking up for about an hour and i don't know how i missed this and i'm not even sure where it came from but very clearly sitting on the table is a copper jacket from a 500 nitro express so i didn't see this earlier i don't know if you guys did uh, you can let me know in the comments it could have been sitting there right in front of my face the whole time and I just missed it. But that's obviously a 50 cal, you can tell by looking at the back and it was just sitting there next to all the other bullet fragments. So my best guess is it probably fell out of the body armor when I either shot it or picked it up to move it and I just didn't notice it. But it's pretty dang cool, so I thought I'd show y'all.